Hey, what's going on? Shane at Shane Hubbard Fit, where we teach you how to lose weight without counting calories or doing exercise you hate. Today, I'm gonna to go over a fat loss calculator that I created that you can use to jumpstart your fat loss. So the link to the actual document is going to be in the description of this video. If you just click that, put in your email address along with your name, and I'll go ahead and send it to you. As soon as you get that download, make sure you download it and come back to watching this video. Don't worry, I'll wait. All right, so now that you have the download, go ahead and open it up and we'll go through it step by step. So let's go over the checklist first. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to find your calorie maintenance number. Keep in mind, this is an estimation. All calorie maintenance equations, formulas, whatever you use, whether it's online or you're using the one that I uh, just gave you in the fat loss calculator, they're all going to be estimations. So nothing's going to be perfect. It's going to take some trial and error, but this is a very accurate uh, way of going about it as far as estimations go. So the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your current body weight and you're gonna multiply that by 12, all right? I'll use the example that I use in the actual fat loss calculator. I take my own weight, 175, and I'm gonna multiply that by 12. When I do that, I get a total of 2,100 calories. That is my calorie maintenance, and I can tell you just from experience that that's sort of around my current calorie maintenance, give or take, you know, 100 calories, because, you know, if you have more muscle mass on your body, then you're typically gonna have a higher calorie maintenance, and so on and so forth. But it's gonna be a pretty accurate a recommendation for following it, especially in the beginning. So then we're gonna to go to step number two. Step number two is creating your caloric deficit. So you're gonna take that number, which in this case is 2100, and you're gonna subtract from that 300 calories. So now I come out with a total of 1800 total calories. So that is my estimated calorie deficit. All right, so step number three is going to be finding your macronutrients. So it's very simple. I actually give you the percentages that you should start with. And this is a very good starting point. It's kind of a middle of the road with the ability to tweak some things. It is very flexible, but if you've never used macros before, I highly recommend just following the recommendations on this sheet and then adjusting later on. All right, so step number four is going to be actually following the plan. So probably the hardest part of all of this is once you figure out your calorie maintenance, then you found, figure out your calorie deficit, then you have your macronutrients and you do the math that I show you on the, the fat loss calculator, that's, those are your targets. Your protein's gonna be a certain amount, your carbs are gonna be a certain amount, and your fats are gonna be a certain amount. What you have to do from there is essentially either on an app or you know, in some other way, you can use any app you want, you need to track how much you are consuming. Not only from a calorie standpoint, but you also wanna to try to hit those macro targets. And if you can do that, you're gonna see a lot of really good results because you are going to be doing the foundational parts of, of essentially losing body fat with a controlled and a balanced macronutrient split. So the goal is to be able to follow this for four weeks. And the reason for that is, is that four weeks is gonna give you a very good amount of time to see whether or not that calorie deficit was accurate or not. As a part of the fat loss calculator, I included a body weight sheet and some instructions on how to track your weight. So you should definitely follow that if you're not really sure how to do it. If you have your own method, you can do that as well. But basically track your weight and track your measurements. Because sometimes you might not see a drop in the scale, but you'll see drop around your waist, around your neck, your face might not look as puffy. That all counts as losing weight. And then the last page on there is just an invitation to join my private Facebook group where you can ask a lot of questions. So maybe you have more questions on how to customize this further. You can join that group and you can check it out and ask any question you want related to the fat loss calculator or pretty much anything. All right, so I wanna finish this video off with some things that you can do based on the results you get. So let's say that you did all the steps and you did it for four weeks and you lost weight. Congratulations, you found your calorie deficit. That is awesome. It can basically take you for a really long time. You can do that and just keep doing it until you notice a stall in either your inches or your weight or both. Now let's say for whatever reason your weight pretty much flatlines, like you don't see any change in your inches, you don't see any change in your weight, what should you do? If you did all of that and your weight didn't change, you basically found your very true calorie maintenance. So this is actually a very good thing. Now that you know that, all you have to do is decrease calories. So let's say that you were you were using my example, and 1800 calories, you ate that way for four weeks. You didn't lose any weight and you didn't lose any inches. 1800 calories is your maintenance. So now what you do is you decrease by another 150 to 250 calories, and then you start eating that way, stay as compliant as you possibly can, and you should start seeing the scales start to go down and your inches start to, to come off. If your weight flatlines over four weeks, that's not a failure. You found your true calorie maintenance and that's super important. So now all I have to do is make another slight adjustment and then go from there. All right, thanks a ton for tuning into this video. I really, really, really hope it gives you the information that you need to use the fat loss calculator and to figure everything out and get started. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up before you go. 
If you wanna see more videos like this, I highly recommend hitting the subscribe button, which I'll put over here. And if you subscribe, you'll get notified when new videos come out. And then if you wanna share this video, maybe you got friends or family that are trying to lose body fat and you're just having a really hard time, make sure you share this download and this video with them so that it can get the most out of this fat loss calculator. Thanks a ton for watching today's video and I will see you in a future video.